Have you seen your sin as God sees it? I have a few verses and quotes to read. When Simon Peter saw himself as the sinner he really was, and he really saw the sin that was in him, it says, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. And also we read of Job, who said in Job 42, verses 5 and 6, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. It took a long time for Peter to get to this, that stage in his life. It took Job a long time to see the sin that he really had in his life and yet he was considered, would be considered today as the best Christian probably alive if he was in our time. And yet there was so much sin in the best of all of us. 1 Corinthians 10, 12 says, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. A quote I just read. In my book it says the sea may be calm and look clear but when the wind blows how it rages and foams just so though now your heart seem good yet when temptation blows how may sin reveal itself making you foam with lust and passion who would have thought to have found adultery in David drunkenness in Noah and cursing in Job Another quote I came across in my book, If God leaves a man to himself, how suddenly and scandalously may sin break forth in the holiest man on the earth. Another scripture that shows you how the, the disciples finally saw themselves as capable of one of the most wicked sins you could think of and that is betraying Jesus in Matthew 26 verses 19 to 22 it says and the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them and they made ready the Passover now when the even was come he sat down with the twelve and as they did eat he said verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me and they were exceeding sorrowful and began every one of them to say unto him Lord is it I they didn't look at somebody else they looked at their own hearts and realized the capability the best Christian in the world right now is capable of the worst sin in the book murder even you say, well, uh, no. Well, if you say that, that's pride. God knows the heart. Man looks on the outward appearance. And a person may appear to be righteous and good and upright and holy. But God looks on the heart. And the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it until you come to see yourself as the sinner that you really are before a holy God you will never come to the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins because you will see no need of it for your self-righteous and this will come to the forefront and say, I am not as bad as the other person. 
so forth and so on. He that has broken the least of the commandments, it says in the Bible, is guilty of them all. Can it be any worse than being guilty of all the commandments? And who of us can say we have not broken the least of God's commandments? If God left us for a moment to ourselves, this is why salvation is 100% of the Lord. You can't get saved by your own self-righteousness. You can't stay saved by your own self-righteousness. And salvation is 100% of the Lord. Thank you for listening.